Both species of dog-like bats are found from southern Mexico to southern Brazil. In Costa Rica, they are found on both coasts up to about 600 meters in elevation. They can be common in both tropical dry forest and wet rainforest. Sometimes they look like cute poodles and other times like badass pit bulls. Groups of one to seven roost on trees, in hollow logs, or in caves. Here, two white line bats sit below a greater dog-like bat. While similar, the dog-like bats are a dull brown and have a pointier nose. There goes a white lined bat. On the other side of the cave exit sits a lesser dog-like bat. To biologists, the difference between the greater and lesser is about five millimeters of its tibia length. These insectivorous species forage in the subcanopy and may glean insects off of vegetation as well. In one study, their favorite food was beetles. Lesser dog-like bats give birth to a single pup in May. Apparently, males mate with a single female, of which they defend. Now you know how they got their name. No, that's not true. They are sometimes found in small numbers at the entrance of caves, not deep within them. Predators of dog-like bats include big-eared woolly bats and many species of owls, like these crested owls. To a dog-faced bat, this is the devil. The greater and lesser dog-like bats are members of the sack-winged family of bats. There's the sack, which the males fill full of urine and strange glandular substances that make it into a potion that females just can't resist. In this cave along the Pacific coast, both gray sack-winged bats and dog-like bats were found roosting. <laughs>